Cause you about to be an ATL ATL. You waiting on this Darius? <laughs> Why you call the man Darius Crooks? Lord, the people have renamed the man Darius Crooks. Okay. Shout out to Darius Cooks Williams, aka Darius Crooks, for the people on the Twitters and the lipsticks alleys and the everywhere else who've been dragging him for months. Look, one of his ex boyfriends even put me in a video, and I'm like, what I what I do? Like, how I get in it? But I, I'm still trying to figure out how I get in it when I ain't even do nothing. Well, now, why am I in it? And you could have did now, it. See, so, I get it I wrong, didn't, so, never I ain't even did it. I look, I wasn't selling no cookbooks. I wasn't cooking. I wasn't look, selling no dining experiences. Why y'all bringing my name in? I ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Okay. I talked about it when y'all told me that he was over on uh, Larry Channel Line. And then I talked about it and I pulled the receipts that he was lying. Like, what, you, what more do y'all want from me in my Tyrese voice? Okay. <laughs> but now. <laughs> Listen, listen, you said season, they seasoning grease. I can't take y'all. I know, right? Look, see, Patterson, we don't need to be talking about that man over here. We be over here minding our business. Okay, we ain't even a food, we ain't even in the foodie group. Okay, we over here in the gossip group. But, 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 because y'all have seen me with him a time or two, you know, I am associates with everybody. I don't have a lot of friends. Trust and believe, you know, after that junkie down evil situation. Can't a lot of people call me friend. I got associates, okay, and the, the friends that y'all see me with, those are my friends, okay. I ain't put everybody on my social media. I am not going to be connected with everybody. I learned my lesson a long time ago. That's why y'all don't never see me. Y'all ain't seen me with him. Y'all ain't seen me with that man since y'all saw me with that man, okay. So stop asking me about that man. We did not fall out. He was an associate, okay. And I don't associate with people who got mess on mess on mess, okay? And who be like doxing people and calling people out and dragging. It was just messy, okay? I didn't like it. I saw the same things y'all saw. I stopped following him on Instagram because of that, because it came up on my own feed one time. It was like a lady's uh, name, address, something he had put up where he was dragging somebody for filing a, 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 a charge back or something. And I was like, oh, that's so messy. Oh, that's so, oh, I don't want to see that. So I just stopped unfollowing him. Like, I don't wish him no bad will or nothing. I don't feel like, listen, if, if y'all want to pay him money to go eat with him, that's on y'all. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't trying to stop nobody's bag. I ain't just like candy. I ain't trying to stop nobody's bag, but I will talk about it. So I talked about, I talked about, you know, the situation where, you know, they was calling him a liar and they were saying that he was doxing people and they were saying, you know, all these things. And he was talking about how Black Enterprise had lied on him. Y'all remember that? I did a whole story about it. And, you know, Black Enterprise, they said, he said over on the Larry show that Black Enterprise was going to, you know, uh, retract their article. <laughs> they he said they were going to retract it and they were going to post some truth. And I was like, oh, this juicy. So they're going to repost the truth. Let's look at the new article. I pulled up the new article and the new article just doubled down <laughs> on what the old article said. So it's like, oh, they called you out. They called you out. So, you know, we talked about it. You remember? Okay. So now this the team now. See, y'all can say this a follow up after, you know, the Darius Williams ex-boyfriend, whoever, Vail or somebody got me in the video talking about, I don't talk about it with Vail. I'm talking about it now because it was on channel five. It was on the Fox five IT investigation. <laughs> and I don't know why it's so funny to me, but it's funny to me. Okay. So it was on Fox day in the fight. Look, Randy Travis from Fox top five in Atlanta. I love him. He is hilarious. He the same Randy Travis. Didn't isn't he the same Randy Travis that uh <laughs> that outed Nene and Greg for flipping houses or doing whatever they do? Randy Travis be on one, honey. Randy Travis went and put on his little apron. He went and sat in his kitchen and he went and pulled all the receipts about Darius Cook. <laughs> and we gonna watch it. <laughs> And we gonna watch it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Ooh, you know me. I love me. I love me a good receipt, honey. We got nothing but time. Okay, it's 1900 of y'all in here. Oh, we got 50 more to 2000 honey. Come on. Come on in. We about to watch this IT News investigation.
Look, you know you famous. Look, you gotta give it to Darius. You know you famous when you when you hit the news, when you hit the local news, honey. Remember, he had hit the news that one time about uh he had hit the news that one time when all his restaurants closed and he pulled up all the damn pills and said the restaurants closed because he was depressed. He hit the news another time when he had like a credit repair business. And I don't know, the people was mad at him and reporting him to the uh, attorney general. And now here he is again. Now you got to give it to him. He is consistent. Okay. He is consistent. A hustler is going to hustle. Okay. You can't be mad at that. I love it. I'm all for entrepreneurialism. And if he ain't stealing from y'all, listen, y'all took out that man a scammer. Y'all send him his money. Same thing I say about Junkie Doniva. Y'all be sitting, y'all be giving that man clicks and views so he can put it up his nose. But Darius is legitimately selling the product. <laughs> okay, I ain't gonna listen. We gonna watch it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get my commentary. Hold on, let's to nourish it. the soul as well as the body. Oh wait, I gotta put my I disclaimer up. Hey, Fox Five friends over there, at Fox Five, please don't flag me. I I like y'all. Y'all like me. We didn't work together in the past before, but this is my disclaimer. It's copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the U.S. Copyright Act. Allowance is made for fair use for the purpose of your criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. I am researching just like you did, Randy Travis. I appreciate Let me put Randy Travis tweet up first. So here go Randy Travis. He is an investigative reporter, okay, for Fox 5 News. So he was not playing around, okay? He was not playing around. Now, look, <laughs> he, had his, he had his little apron. <laughs> They said, you know, the story is hot when Randy Travis <laughs> dresses up. He done dressed up. He done got to the kitchen and everything to talk about this food blogger. Now, uh, this is what he was uh, talking about. This is what the actual uh, post is about. He pulled up on Darius at his Airbnb uh, right before he was about to do his his uh, Darius cooks uh, dining with Darius in Atlanta. And Randy Travis said the idea of doxing, posting someone's personal information uh, online with malicious intent isn't illegal. But should a popular Atlanta-based food blogger still be doing it to his critics? Hmm. Hmm. Look at Darius' face in this picture. <laughs> oh, I wish I could zoom in. I can't. Can I zoom in? Yeah, I can't. Look at this face. <laughs> he looks so funny. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is messy, Lord. This is messy, but I'm here for it. You know, I am here for y'all know I'm here for the best. <sighs> Don't be mad at me because I want I wanna I wanna um I love like reading stuff that ain't about me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, who said it? Who is Zoe? I am Zoe. If it ain't about me, let's kiki. Okay, if it ain't about me, let's kiki. Now <laughs> the Fox Five. I wish the Fox Five news reporter would pull up to my door. Like, what the hell? I would not have opened the door. But anyway, <laughs> he opened the door. Um, and so here is the news article. We about to watch. I team says an Atlanta social media influencer who touts his cooking skills have left behind a mess of complaints. That's right. Fox Five team reporter Randy Travis spent time investigating a man who goes down by the name Darius Cooks. You've been hearing Ooh, this. Hi, Randy. That's right, Courtney. Yeah, his real name, though, is Darius Williams. His re restaurants in Atlanta are now closed. His credit repair business now shut down. But it's how he treats his online critics through a practice called doxing that may have you questioning his recipe for success. Not the recipe for success, Lord. Hours before dinner at this rented house in Collier Hills. And the Fox 5 I team is a surprise addition to the menu for a host who clearly does not. Oh my God. What are you trying to tell wait, me? Wait, wait. I got to stop it. Had the cameraman wait, leave? He was waving. He waved through the door, Lord. Hey, wait. Okay. He was waving. He does I'm not so want to be on. For a host who clearly does not want to be. <laughs> hey, wait through the door. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. Okay. On TV. What are you trying to tell me? Had the cameraman leave? Okay. Go stand down there. So why are you putting the names of your critics and their personal information online? You don't see that? 
Yeah, I've seen I've seen the actual clips. Let me talk to let me call my lawyer. Yes, please call someone. Help us understand why you're doing this on your social media pages to people who complain about you. We got her kids on there as well. Kids information. I put it on my Instagram. And it is oh wait, he did talk on his. Oh my god. Wait, okay, I gotta make myself be for this. <clears throat> How you go? <laughs> How you go on lie and tell on yourself <laughs> and say, yes, I put the I put the information on my tw- Lord. Y'all gonna be the death. Look, social media gonna be the death of y'all. That's all I gotta say on that. Social media is gonna be the death of y'all. Okay, hold on. I'm put it back up. Y'all know I gotta stop it every few minutes. Now. I'm gonna be getting mad. I'm gonna rewind it. Understand why you're doing this on your social media pages to people who complain about you. We got her kids on there as well. Kids information. I put it on my Instagram. And it's been a nightmare. A self-taught cook, Darius Williams has built an impressive online presence, not just through his website, Darius Cooks TV, where he sells cookbooks and cookware mixed in with this his good little video, advertisement, though. but also on bad. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, where he claims 1.5 million followers. He also sells seats for seven-course meals called Dining with Darius, like the one we visited, held in various cities across the country. Williams often goes live multiple times a day to talk about food and sometimes brag about background checks. Followers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't get, get out his life. Oh, and see, y'all be thinking because y'all be deleting live streams that don't nobody have it. Get out his life, Lord. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, listen, Jazzy. If you don't want, if you want to watch it without interruptions, go to channel five. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt. Okay, <laughs> I just can't believe this. Can y'all believe this? Oh man, like okay, okay. Or send him about his critics. I can tell you who got the um the speeding ticket. I can tell you who moved from what state to what state. Just three years ago, Georgia authorities shut down Williams' illegal credit repair business, including a $145,000 settlement. And in early 2020, before COVID, Williams suddenly closed his Atlanta restaurants, focusing instead on his online TV career, while also developing a side dish called doxing. Sadly, the ingredients for doxing are easy to find. (laughs) It's the puns for me. Okay. It's the puns for me. A recipe for disaster. Uh look, look a side dish of doxing. <laughs> he did this. Okay. Randy Travis did this. Okay. I ain't even mad. Look, I ain't even mad at the mess Also like developing that. a side dish called doxing. Sadly, the ingredients for doxing are easy to find. Take a heaping <laughs> cup of private or identifying information about someone, sprinkle some malicious intent, throw it on the internet, and watch how hot it burns. Remember those products Williams sells on his website? The Better Business Bureau gives his company an F rating because customers complain they never got what they ordered. I started to Ooh. notice a pattern of people coming on his live and asking about refunds it also bothered danielle holland that williams would publicly blast some of those unhappy customers posting their contact information like this woman making fun of her then sharing her brother's phone number when he tried to privately intervene in our story oh oh, 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 wait wait so you put all these people on blast all these nice young women and older women who support you, you put them on blast when they don't get their information or their um cookbooks and whatever else you selling. And then the brother, a man reach out to you to talk and you don't talk to him. That is, that is, listen, that is messy. Okay. That is, this is messy. That's all I got to say. And then he had put the brother's phone number out. 
Oh my God. Thank you, Quincy. Uh, thank you. Uh, 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 Tech, Tech Z said he needs some of my bipolar meds. He's crying for help. And I have some pills to save him. And I have some Xanax and edibles too. Well, word on the curve, they say he already got all them. They say he already got all that, uh, Techie. Story we are blurring what Darius did not. So he doesn't like criticism. He doesn't no. like criticism. He doesn't like to be questioned. The Detroit mom started anonymously retweeting some of the complaints she saw. Then one day she looked at Darius's Twitter page. I'm scrolling and, and the next thing I know, I see a picture of me. I see a picture of my children and my husband. It was almost kind of like literally like an out-of-body experience. They filed a police report and shut down their social media accounts. But oh, their wow. children's photos are still on Darius's page. Randy, I'll be he, honest. I didn't even know what the term He was. said, y'all, wait. He said, y'all, y'all say it was like, almost kind of like that is a bullying. Picture. Shut down their social media accounts. But their children's photos. Y'all, even though Randy said doxing is, is uh, not illegal, that is cyberbullying, which is like uh, in violation of the terms and conditions of most social media platforms. Why? Look, that is in violation. He should be, uh, ooh, I ain't gonna even say what he should be, but that is in violation. That's the same thing Lil Boozy did when she put that white lady up and told all her people to go harass her when the white lady was crying because she had a um podcast called Wind Down something. See, these, these crazy, it's a whole bunch of crazy people online. See, all y'all need is Instagram or a, a cell phone with some damn a data plan and y'all Y'all is messy. Okay. Anyway, I'm digressing. Let's look. Photos are still on Darius's page. Randy, I'll be honest. I didn't even know what the term dox meant. The Hollands quickly found others who say they're victims too, like Melanie's Ford of Atlanta. She says after she raised questions about Darius's tactics, his followers bombarded her too. I was um, reached out to, called all sorts of names. It was absolutely horrible. So more drama equals more likes. He does this for likes, clicks, and engagement. The food fight has even reached other TV chefs. Sonny Anderson and Andrea Davis, known as the Kitchenista, have oh, issued wow. public condemnations of Williams and his doxing. This thing about doxing is from the food is network. real, and it's hurtful, and it's hurting people. So what did the usually chatty Darius Williams finally have to say to us? I'm just, you can just go on record and say I'm declining the comment. That's it. Have a great day. Well, wait a minute. Yep. These people are upset. <laughs> why you go, why you go, go listen. If, <laughs> if that ain't narcissistic behavior, I don't know what is. I My ass, see, I'm different. I would have sat right there in front of that glass window and ate my food. <laughs> I would have sat right there in front of that glass door and ate my food. You got to open the door and say, I, I don't have no comment. That's my comment. <laughs> I wouldn't have said nothing. Because you've been putting Travis would have still been standing there right doxing. now. Dealing this with thing me. about doxing and cyberbullying is real, and it's hurtful, and it's hurting people. So what did the usually chatty Darius Williams finally have to say to us? I'm just, you can just go on record and say I'm declining the comment. That's it. Have a great day. Well, wait a minute. Yep. These people are upset because you've been putting their That's personal great. information online, Darius. Come on, I thought you liked being on television. <laughs> Apparently not our channel. Well, Sonny Anderson is a Food Network personality who gave Williams his first break by featuring him on her show several years ago. I talked to Sonny by phone. She says she feels horrible about what's mm. happened, and she has disavowed any uh, connection to him at all. Well, it's disturbing enough to see these people's personal information being spread all over the Internet. But the question is, is doxing illegal? No, it's it's not against the law, which makes you wonder if uh, the Hollands will get any satisfaction from that police report they filed mm. in Detroit uh, earlier this year. But let's Ooh. face it, it may not be against the law, but it's creepy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to post someone's personal information online, knowing that you have a lot of followers who are going to perhaps do something about it, is it's wrong and uh, it shouldn't be going on yeah it's potentially dangerous and those yeah. kids could, as well we saw those kids pictures on his uh, website and that's what prompted the hollands to call the cops they were just mm -hmm. horrified about that but again as i said doxing at least on its surface is not against the law yeah pretty surprising yeah yeah randy thanks okay.
But he said, you know, doxing is not against the law. Doxing on its surface. But what is against the law is, you know, using somebody's social security number. They said that he was pulling people's social security numbers, pulling, pulling um, they uh credit reports, uh put, running uh investigations on people. Listen, it is cyberbullying and cyberbullying. It's supposed to be a federal crime. You go to the feds with cyberbullying. Oh, a mess. I would never tell y'all to go bully nobody. No, 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 no. Do not go bully nobody. Look, I don't like junkie, but I'll be telling y'all to go over there and drag him. Mm -mm. That is, ooh, child, it's just a mess. And how he put all these women's names and, and, and pictures and stuff up and pictures of the children. And then when the men want to talk, he don't talk to them. What's up with that? I am so disappointed in him. <sighs> anyway. Now, um, one thing I know for sure, and I say this to y'all all the time, I am a black woman. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. I'm unambiguously a black woman. And I be telling y'all black women are the biggest supporters of some of these misogynistic, hateful ass, woman bashing people online. Like, I ain't gonna say the gays, but uh, he is gay. Okay, he is gay. Um, listen, he pulling a he pulling a junkie down Eva on y'all. But yeah, that's a coward. That is a coward. I don't understand. Look, if you can't if you can't uh have that keep that same energy with some um males with some testosterone, it's a problem with you. You have a problem with women, and I do not like it. I do not like it. So again, that was one of the reasons why I separate rated myself and my brand and everything associated with me from him i never spoke bad about him i just did not speak about him at all but this is disappointing and you know y'all need to hold him accountable it ain't up to the news to do it you know what i'm saying it's not up to the bloggers to do it it's not up to the youtubers to do it it's up to you the people who actually spend the money the people who actually show up and most of the times let me go listen let me go let me go do my deep dive. Let me go to Instagram. <laughs> Lord. And most of the time, the people that show up to his uh, events are what? Black women. Oh, gosh. Hold on. You know, Y'all know I got a little day over there dancing and stuff. Hold on. This at one of his things in between courses six and seven. You got to do what you got to do, Atlanta. Look at all the women's. Look at all the women's. All the women's are a certain age. All the women's. Look, the church folks in there. They go eat, go eat some fried chicken because they can't get no good fried chicken at the OLG game. <laughs> they can't get no good fried chicken at the OLG game. So I guess Darius get them some good fried chicken. They come on, they pay y'all three hundred dollars for some fried chicken. What's this? What is happening? Oh, they showing some more stuff. Look, there they go. I can't play the music, but yeah, they have a good time. They got, look, they having a good time. I ain't mad at them for having a good time. I ain't mad at them for eating. I am not mad. They say it's sold out for 2022. I do not care. All I know is if you're going to hold somebody accountable, hold them accountable. If you're going to support them, support them. But when you see him at, when y'all pay all that money and go up there, y'all ask him questions and hold him accountable and ask him why he won't talk to the men. Okay, why he won't talk to these men who be trying to talk to him and try to get clarity of why you uh, are bullying and harassing some of these women. Okay, they, is, they, they look like they having fun. That's all. They're going to pay $300 for for some chicken at a house party. But there's that. Look, I love to eat too, man. Don't be fat shaming nobody. I love to eat too, man. Nah. <laughs> but there's that. Black women and black women and black gay women. Okay. Well, listen, I don't know. It's like all black. Listen, you said certain types of black women, whatever the case may be. Okay. Y'all can have y'all own. Look, y'all can, y'all can have y'all own house party at the house. Y'all can, can rent you an Airbnb at your house party, bring you some Popeyes <laughs> and some mashed potatoes, you know, stop by the liquor store, get you some wine and get you some pineapples and fruit and, you know, put it in a little thing, make you some sangria. sangria. You can have your own little house party, child. Anyway, <sighs> I don't hate nobody. Hey, it's such a strong word. You mad? You lost your money? 
No, I'm sorry. It had to, listen. His home is nice. That was an Airbnb child. Airbnbs be nice. Uh, y'all need to um anyway. Listen, they said the better business. Oh, there is better give my girl Jazzy Divas her money. Oh, we're gonna have to tell the Airbnb. Oh, don't be fighting now. Don't be fighting, okay? Uh, that's a Airbnb, not his home. Okay. Randy got it started. Randy got it started. If he's a narcissist, Michelle, he will put them out if they start questioning him. You ain't put me out if I pay my money. Okay. I will call the police on you. <laughs> See, he ain't met the right one yet. Okay. If I had to pay my $300 to come up here and have me some fried chicken and some sangria, I'm going to have the conversations that I want to have. Honey, what is this thing? You better not put me out. If you put me out, you better give me my money. Okay. Yeah, that's spaghetti. Better be good for $300. Them greens and that spaghetti better be good, honey. But you listen, I ain't mad at listen. I learned how to uh, make collard greens from his collard green recipe. <laughs> it was easy. I said, Oh, let me do this like Darius did it. And it worked. So I ain't gonna look. He got some skills. That's all I know. And if y'all gonna pay for it, just be look, just hold a cat. Just know if something go wrong, you ain't gonna get your money back. He need to put up a sign and say no refunds, okay? You can't be mad at people. Listen, a fool and their money are always parted, okay? A fool and their money. So you can't be mad at people. Just don't, you don't do it. If you mad, if you mad about it, you don't spend your money. That's all. That's how you, that's how you do it. And the people who spend their money gonna spend it. That's, that's, I mean, that's all you can do about it. Uh, Exactly. Money back on the spot. Cash before I leave, okay? Anywho. I digress. I digress. That was a good old Kiki from uh, Darius Cooks. Okay. Uh, shout out to Darius and the Dehive and the uh, the, the Kitchenista and Sonny Anderson and everybody else who was all up in arms about it. Protect black women. Look, if, if these black women ain't protecting themselves, it ain't nothing you can do about it. If these black women are sitting up there giving him they $300, what problem you got? If you ain't spent your money... <laughs> Listen, I you can we can talk, we can talk till we blue in the face. Only thing people can do, only thing you can do is create awareness. Uh so I appreciate the awareness, the people who um who see it and who decide to act upon it and who decide to go or not to go. That's on y'all. That's on y'all. Anywho, um, it's 2,000 people in here. Y'all just getting here. Uh click that like button.